Hi and welcome to Data Analysis with R Masterclass. We are at section 1, Introduction to the Course. In this video, we will talk about what is data analysis and why is it important. So what is data analysis? Data analysis is actually the exercise of looking for useful information in the data. It's not a new concept. It has existed for quite some time. In fact, there are a lot of specific analysis techniques which are suited for particular type of settings like uh, there's spectral analysis which is done on usually energy data uh, mostly in physics or chemistry to identify elements and for a lot of different other experiments as well there is sentiment analysis which is done on natural language data mainly on english for example you could analyze the sentiment uh, on the different tweets or the posts that are done on social media so we would not be uh, talking about specific cases like these. Instead, we would be focused on data analysis, which is used uh, in business decision making. Now, why is data analysis important? So the simple answer is to facilitate data driven decision making. Actually, this is how we make most of decisions in our usual lives. Uh, all of our decisions are either based on past experiences or any kind of information that we have come across. But there is also a certain amount of personal bias or some kind of preference involved with that decision. Uh, with businesses, however, since every decision has an attached cost to it, so they need objective and unbiased decisions in order to ensure greater chances of success. So how do we do a data analysis? I've come up with a six step data analysis framework that you could apply on any kind of data analysis problem and come up with a insightful findings so the first step of this framework is to understand your data what is what information is actually stored in your data how is your data structured whether it is unstructured data or structured data stored in a tabular format things like that the second step would be to decide on the analysis objective uh, to, in order to do that you can simply answer the question why did you start this analysis in the first place now, third step would be to ask what are all the different questions that come to your mind when you look at the data. Step four would be to actually filter out the questions uh, that you came up with in step three and select those questions which help you with your analysis objective that you decided in step two. In step five, we actually dive deep into the data and try to answer the questions that we have selected in step four. And in step six, we simply summarize all our findings and insights in a report. So this is a six step framework that you can use to solve any kind of data analysis assignment or problem. Uh, don't worry, uh, this is not just a theoretical concept. We would try to apply it on a real world problem. For that purpose, we have included two case studies in this course. So in section three and four, we would try to apply this framework on some real world data. We would be using Kaggle Machine Learning Survey 2020 data and we would try to apply each step of this data analysis framework and try to come up with some insightful findings. So in summary, we discussed about three things in this video. The first topic was we tried to understand the concept of data analysis. Secondly, we tried to understand what is the importance of data analysis, why are we trying to learn data analysis and the third thing that we discussed was a data analysis framework, which is basically a structured approach to generate insights from raw data. In the next video, we will talk about what sort of tool would we be using to analyze our data and who is the app target audience for this course. So see you in the next video.